Hello. Hi, everybody. I'm gonna wait a little bit, get some people on here. Um, we thought it would be fun to get on a live and celebrate what is the 20th anniversary of How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, which I can't even fucking believe it. It's so crazy that it's been, tw it's crazy and then yet it doesn't feel, it does feel like a couple lifetimes ago. But I called my friend Matthew and I was like, shouldn't we just talk about it? And he was like, yeah, yes. So we thought we'd get on and chat about how to lose a guy in 10 days. Um, I'm gonna wait and see when Matthew kind of checks in. He doesn't really do lives, so this could take <laughs> this could take a second. Um, but I actually asked you guys to call in and or to write in questions, and I cannot believe how many questions there are. So um, hopefully we'll get to some of them. And um, and let me see. See if I can let's see if you request. Get that. Let's get that man on here. Where are you? View request. What is this? Okay, maybe I'm I'm not too great at this either. Let's see. I don't even know if Matthew's on yet. Oh, look, my assistant just gave me a little help here. Oh, okay, here we go, invite. Ah! Hey, Happy girl. anniversary! Happy anniversary! Did you think we'd be saying this this many years later? No, I mean, I, I, I hope so. <laughs> right? <laughs> but yeah, can you believe it? It's been 20 years. Does it seem longer or shorter? Or just about, it seems just about 20 years to me. It seems about 20 years. I, I said, every time when people are like, God, I can't believe it's 20 years. I'm like, uh, no, it feels, it feels like a lot of life has happened. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we, yeah, we, that's another story. We can go on for about two hours on a lot yes. of what's happened since then. You look like you're in the most lush, yummy environment. You know where I'm very close to, where we did another film uh, Fool's Gold, Port Douglas. Are you really? Oh, you're <laughs> kind of down here, a little bit oh, down you're under. You're in that environment, Matthew. It's just... <laughs> no shade. It suits come your skin. On. It's where you come to life. I'm telling uh, you. I, hey, um, how, how are you and the family? Great, great. I saw, I saw that your wife had quite the excursion. Oh yeah. For her, was it amazing? So yeah, she's she's putting out a, a a video on her IG here shortly. But so we head out. She decides on her birthday, she wants to hike to the top of the tallest mountain in the world, measured from below sea level. We show up before daybreak. It's seventy degrees, sunny. The birds are singing zippity doo dah day. Oh my god! Cut to four hours later. It's twenty four degrees, and we're in a blizzard, and we weren't dressed or ready for that. So. We almost got wiped off the mountain, but we made it to the top. You'll see. Oh. Got a great little story. Oh my God. I was looking, but, I was like, this is, a, this is, but it feels right. It feels it like. It was right. It was yeah. one of those, it was like one of those birthday pilgrimages. You know, it was like, if we oh, make yeah. it to the top of here, it, it wasn't all fun, but we got to the top, you're like, yeah. Uh, oh, that's a good way to bring in 40. I, I got, I was, unfortunately, my 40th was like, it came and went like, that fast i was like i think i need to redo my 40th i didn't you have always i think yeah. it'd be 45. what's Maybe. the next what's, what's the next one 44. Four. fours hey let me ask you this so the 40s were my favorite decade my favorite yeah. sort of generation but you're not in your 40s anymore <laughs> 53. <laughs> Ah, give, okay. give now, me a few more years. Now it feels long. Yeah, give me a few more years, and then hopefully I can say my 50s are my favorite. <laughs> my 40s were so cool because you customize, right? I don't know. Something about all the stuff that you don't want to do or doesn't feed you, it's kind of like 
it's not even on the periphery anymore. You kind of got That's rid of right. it. And the things you want are right in front of you. Are you you enjoying them so far? I love it. I feel the best I've ever felt. But I also feel the the most calm. Like I feel so peaceful. And and I've I think that this the this last kind of two years has been the most creative I've ever felt. Like the most connected to the creative. And I and it, it makes me feel so good and 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 calm and and yeah, man. So yeah, I mean, I, I, I have like everything I could ever possibly need in my life and more. And I just think like, all that matters to me is my family and how and their health and, yeah. and continuing to create things that make people feel good. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just get reminded of that, uh, that health thing. It's like someone said this to me the other day, he said, Look, somebody who's healthy, has many desires somebody who's not healthy has one desire and that's to get thin healthy you that's know right I mean? you know that um, is, i like that no that, that's right I, I i feel like that's right when you got when you have your health you do you have all that it sort of feels yeah, yeah, like yeah. things available to you yeah we're still toting mom mac around mom mac's 91. i can't ass. believe it but you know what's so funny i'm like of course she is because she was always i mean your mom has some of the great one-liners you know, I can't even repeat half of them because they're no, so No, most of them are definitely <laughs> NC-17. <laughs> like, I remember being with your mom at the premiere. I can't remember if it was How to Lose a Guy or if it was Fool's Gold, but... And she's, she started whipping out these one-liners, and I was... She had me on the floor laughing about how to keep a relationship together. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, and she's not wrong. I'm not going to no. repeat them, but she's not wrong. <laughs> I think I've heard this advice too. She's oh not my god! But she she's just amazing. I can't, and she's good, and she's yeah, just man. kicking just ass, sharp as a whip. Kicking ass just needs a certain amount of controversy. It's just have something <laughs> stick it in. Okay. <laughs> and if things are going too smooth, she's upset. Oh, she's, she's like, be- I'm getting bored. Somebody, let's start some shit here. <laughs> yeah. It works. Hey, Speaking of uh, uh, starting SHIT, I, I ran into your mom and Kurt over in uh, uh, Greece quite a few months ago. What? Walked in a restaurant. Why did they tell me? a great looking couple over there sitting there not, having dinner. And if I wouldn't have known me. it was them, I would have already been like, that's a cool couple. And of course, when I saw it was them, I knew it was a cool couple. Went up. We had some great laughs at your expense. And all of us, it was great. <laughs> Wait, they never told me. I well, mean, maybe, so maybe it's because I think it maybe is because we were also we were in all in such a chill mode. We acted like it was like, oh, yeah, what's up? Like I'm swinging by. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we hadn't seen each other in over a year. Oh, my God. Where in Greece were you in? In um, Where were you? We were uh, Paros. Oh, right. OK, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, listen, should we get into, I mean, I can't even tell you how many people wrote in this movie. I can't believe the life that this film has had. Let's our talk movie, about that. What is movie, it about? I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I, I think maybe I do have some idea, but I, I think it's so amazing. Like, I don't know. How old is your oldest? 14. Now? 14. Oh my gosh. So Ryder is 19. He's in college and which is even crazier. He's. That is crazy living his life and but but uh there's been this whole like viral TikTok how to lose a guy moment and it's basically introduced our movie to an entirely new generation of young kids have you seen this i have not but it's so it's still sticking so the you're so vain the you're so vain song is like became this viral thing where people would like do their kind of moment. Um, Then it was like the Benny Boo Boo had a moment, like all of these things from our movie and all of these younger kids are like kind of either redoing it or retaught, you know, kind of uh, lip syncing or creating moments for it. And then, I mean, the other day I walked into Sephora with Ronnie, who's obsessed with makeup, which is a whole other conversation. But she, um, I had this like group of like 12, 13 year old girls come up and I thought they were gonna be like, oh, cause, cause of Knives Out just being out. Like, oh, yeah. uh, we, 
and it was all like, hello, there's a guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I will say this. I have noticed that, that there are, that I have noticed, as you bring it up, a younger generation that comes up like, oh, we just saw your movie this weekend. How right? the guy in 10 days. Or we just watched your movie this weekend for the fifth time. And it's how the kind of today. And it's very current to them. It's, it's like, we didn't go back and pull something out of 20 years later. No, this is something that either they found 10 years ago, but there's a ritual to watch it. I remember when it first came out, remember Valentine's Day, the numbers of Spike? This was back when it was like DVDs, right? Or I TNT know. would have it running, you know? That's it would right. run and we, back to back to back to back to back. Yeah, you'd get an actual residual check that was like- Little oh. mailbox money, kind of give it a little kick there <laughs> come Valentine's Day, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I feel like I I feel like this movie will just keep going. We we got lucky to be in such a classic one, you know. And we did. I'm always asked what it what it is. I mean, and I know this is in all rom coms, but I know that I've when I've been in the theater with people, or been with people watching it. There's a there's sort of a a mischievous fun they're having to know that they're in the deal with Andy and. It, Ben doesn't know, watch this. And he's trying to be cool. He's trying to handle it, but he doesn't know he's about to eat crow and then vice versa. So it's just sort of interactive experience with people who watch it that are like, they're in on the joke with you or they're in on the joke with me at your expense or my expense. And it's just the mischief of it. That's right. And they get to see, you know, I think that it's like, they're, they're, that's right. I think mischief is the right word. And then we're probably like two very well casted people for anything mischievous. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah. Right? So yeah, it's, we've, like, it's like, you, you we've know. We've picked each other's pocket before. That's yeah. right. <laughs> that's right. I feel like the, the, the most, um, I mean, I can't, I, I, honestly, when I say thousands of questions, it was like wild. How many questions? Um, but one of the most common one was, um, let me see if I can find the one that is like, I mean, obviously everyone wants to know, well, there's two. So one is like, yeah. what was our favorite moment? And then the other one was, which I get all the time, every time, even when I'm like promoting anything else, what's it like to kiss McConaughey? <laughs> <laughs> and my whole thing is always like we're always in weird environments like it's never like just like it, it's never just one there was only one time when we kissed that was like so like nice and gentle in the bathroom yeah everything else has not been climate controlled <laughs> That's right. everything else is like Swim up to the top. The sharks almost <laughs> ate you. You just fell from a plane from 300 feet. But Tread water. You get to the top. Tread water. Before you catch your breath, kiss. Just oh, really, this is going to be make great. It look passionate. Yes. And you're backlit. It's magic hour. You got 30 <laughs> seconds to get this shot. <laughs> That's right. Or you're on the Brooklyn Bridge and you're yelling across your and the wind is like blowing right in your face. Yeah, exhaust is blowing in from 18 wheelers <laughs> crossing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but no, no, no. Remember, it's 75 and balmy at sunset here in our minds in this movie. Oh, yeah, sure. Why am I shaking? Because I'm so cold. <laughs> it's so true. Um, but I, but I feel like it's funny. I always say to people when you're kissing anyone in a movie, it, it does feel as much as it's like, you know, it, we are actually, it is professional. Like we're actually trying to create something that evokes something in a certain way that might not exactly be the way you would necessarily do it in real life. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. I mean, you, 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 you know, the, there's always the proverbial, run back together from from far away points and in stride catch that's lip right. lock swing turn and settle on this mark with the sunset behind your face it sounds that's great right. you come in you know maybe oh got a little bruise there you know what i mean but, <laughs> but yeah it was a little it was it's it's uh, passionate but in respect to our now partners we do kiss nicely I would have to agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> it was always a very nice kiss. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, okay. So next question that that it is everywhere is what was our favorite what was our favorite scene? Right. How was the guy? All right, so your... for me, 
and look, I got a bunch of favorite, but the one that I remember that just left off the page, like we sat in that morning is a long scene. And by before lunch, we were like, oh, this, this scene is, is cooking. And it's one with Catherine. When you set up the, 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 the counseling. Yes. And Ben's coming in there going, not the, wanting the, to be the there. Therapist. And y'all got your thing going. And yeah, it was, the setup was so right for like, you know, in these things, you got it. You could, you, you can act, you could be bigger than life and your emotions and reaction can be bigger than they would be in real life. But you don't want to go into caricature. But that scene allowed us to go real close to being almost animated. <laughs> I mean, that scene was so deeply funny. It was also so funny to shoot. And the yeah. best part for me was that I could hide laughter. Whereas right. you had to be as straight and as insane as could be. I actually could right. be the audience and feel <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah. it was a time. <laughs> but also we all, we had like a great, you know, we had a good foundation of a scene there, but a lot of that too was us kind of riffing, riffing and yeah. off, you know. Well, you know, I gotta say that was a cool thing uh, with Petrie, our director. I mean, the bones were always there, but then as soon as you and I got in on our first day and it was obvious that it was like, oh, okay, these two can play with each other. And some of that stuff that they came up with based on the scene is great. He was promoting that. Yeah. The whole he really way. had the room. Yeah. To, to play and, with. And a lot of the stuff that we came up with is what's in the movie, you know, yeah. on the day. You know, a lot of those little lines and someone asked um, who came up with Benny Boo Boo? And I was like, oh, I can't, I, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can't remember if that was written or if that was something that just came out of my mouth. But I, um, I'm pretty sure that slipped right off your tonsils. I was going to say, it through. sounds like something I would Yeah, say. you I get remember. into that baby talk with Ben and things. Oh, ben, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's, Benny that's, Boo Boo Boo. I think, I think that might have been me coming up with Benny Boo Boo. I, one thing I remember is is thinking when I was leaving and I had the love for her, I think it was after we were outside, it was an exterior night shot. And it was, um, I love you, Banky. Yeah. But I don't have to like you right, like now. right now. And that was an, that was, I said that because my mom used to say that to me. That's the same the thing time. my mom used to tell us. <laughs> love you, babe, but don't like you right now. I love you, thank you. And I was like, oh, that was, and that made it. And that was such a, I loved that. Um, what was your favorite, uh, what's one of the lines that stays with you the most? It's one that of the lines. Oh, geez, I don't remember lines right now. I mean... Look, that scene after that Benny Boo Boo, I love you right now, or Benny Binky, I Binky Binky, I love you, I just don't like you right now. Uh -huh. I laugh really hard at what happened to me after you walked away. Because you walk away like the cat's meow, and I'm walking away going, hmm, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get control of this situation, I can't get control of it. Deep in that. And, and I kind of, I kind of twitch and almost kind of. <laughs> it's really funny because it ends up on on Ben walking away, going, "Okay, uh, how, 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 how do I handle this?" Said Josh, "Damn it, how far is this gonna go?" Um, oh my God. That's one of my bigger laughs. I love, I love seeing Ben squirm. Oh, and, it was so and, much fun. So did, so did, uh, so did, did most of the United States. Yeah. <laughs> Hey. Continuously. Um, the hey, talk about this. I brought this up the other day. Let's talk about, did we come up with, or how did we come up with the poster, you and I leaning shoulder to shoulder, which was repeated for many rom-coms oh, after that, some crazy. of them that, which I have been in. That <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we were, when we were shooting it, remember? We were in New York Loft. It, it, that's right, and we... I believe that was you and I leaning. Because it, it, it was a per, it's the perfect rom com poster. Well, you look great. I, I, I had the tux on. on. We leaned, kind of checked out. Like, a... I had my arm on you like this, and then I think we were just kind of organically figuring out things that felt, you know. I remember seeing it though, like on the monitor, and going, "Oh, geez, uh, that's it. No more." I, I, yeah. I, yeah, I mean, we, I think we all knew that when it, when, when it happened, it was like, 
But my question yeah. is, did, was the dress on me or was I in a different outfit and did they Photoshop the dress? Oh, good question. I think I, maybe I was in the yellow dress. I think but you, I also I mean, remember I, being in a different outfit. Well, let's say something. Let's give a little props to that yellow dress. I mean, if you weren't in that yellow dress, you were in that yellow dress because the yellow dress was the bomb. And oh no other dress, no other dress, any other dress is a far second. A woman so wrote in that she got married in it. <laughs> yes. Yes. She got married in the yellow dress. It's crazy. That yellow, that yellow dress, again, has lived on. I mean, I, you know, and I feel really lucky because I've had like a couple moments in movies that have had a real iconic look. Oh, yeah. And that movie, that dress, just the color, I think, the simplicity of it. Well, speaking, do you, do you have that dress? No. It's, I think it's in the, I think it's in the wardrobe academy. I think it's up in the museum of academy. Or Did you get some wardrobe off of Knives Out? I might have. <laughs> I might have kept a couple things. I kept more of my jewelry in that movie. I was like, I'll just take that gold. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the birdie necklace. My name is Bert. Like Kurt's called me Birdie my whole life. So I, in the movie, I wore this thing that a big gold necklace that said Birdie. I was like, yeah. no one's gonna miss it. <laughs> no, don't don't ask permission. No wear it. <laughs> that one just it's not. It's, it's no longer. It's no longer on set after that scene. Don't know That's where it right. went. It's in my jewelry box and I wear it all the time. I still wear it, you know? Um, so, so let's see. There was a couple things that I thought was good before. Yeah. Um, oh, you know what I started thinking about was the You're So Vain song yeah. became like, an, it's like another uh, moment that just Marvin lives Hamlish. on. What? Isn't it Marvin Hamlish? And Marvin, you know, he passed away. Yes. He passed away. He was, I mean, that was amazing. And I, I'm such, I was such a big fan of his. So like to have him just sitting there playing the piano during, by the way, we, I mean, that was a long day. <laughs> that was it towards the end of the movie, wasn't it? Yeah. It? yeah. And it was, and we were there and he's just sitting up there playing the piano for his one line, you know, uh, but he was so wonderful. And then, but I remember that scene actually was kind of hard for us because it was like we were walk, at least for me, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe not for you, but sort of walking the line of like, you know, clearly this is this big moment in the movie, but it was so. Um, I know what you're talking about. Like we were if underneath. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. Underneath, probably for things that were happening in character and out of character and offset. We 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 had gotten under each other's skin a little bit, where we had some. We were le legitimately kind of pissed off at each other in a really cool way. Mm -hmm. And then you can get it was that line. You got you got you got it. You can go, but just remember, this ends up with charm. This ends up coming together. So <laughs> I, I remember having a few scenes. We were going like, okay, that worked. But um, can we can we can we can we can we inject a little more of the charm and the love and the desire <laughs> and the lust in there? And we we're like, yeah, you're like, yeah, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I think by that time we had added up all the all the ways we had wronged each other. <laughs> and I remember I was like, God, oh, she did this and did this and did this and did this. Oh, and then, okay, so, okay, yeah. It was so true. And then and and also like, just to like make it feel honest that you know to be singing that to each other yeah. and like having all of that spite in that moment that was you know had what you were talking about but then like have it feel like this is this is ridiculous you know which is we also brought to it like i can't yeah. believe this is we're doing this right yeah. here yeah you yeah. know what are we, we're on stage on mics right. at the ball at yeah. the big event yeah and, and none of it matters anymore. this party yeah and <laughs> everyone else get out of the way just between me and her yeah. And I feel like we really, we like, we made it work. Like uh, what, what to me is probably like the harder things to do in romantic comedies when they want that big, like moment, yeah. the big step piece, you know? Yeah. I think that's another, I think you're bringing up another compliment to, to the film. It is, cons we did consistently hold a tone that pushed the boundaries the whole way, but never went, 
no scene felt, oh, that's out of place. That was a big set piece. Why the hell was that scene there? And that right. was an intimidating scene to make work because it was the big opulent song and dance musical part. And that has to work. Yeah. You gotta <laughs> fight hard we and then come back together. We weren't in our characters either. Like we weren't yeah. playing Andy, playing crazy Andy. And you, you know, you weren't Ben playing the person that was supposed to be totally into yeah. me. You know, so it was like, it was interesting. I mean, I think that that was maybe probably what makes this film work so much is that, you know, the mischievous part, but also the comedy, like it lent itself to being able to really go far without it feeling like it was broad. Yeah. Because we were trying to, in reality, we were trying to create right. something that, and it, you know, so it sort of, allowed and, for us to go further than and on the flip side the amount of pain or anger or spite that we got to feel we got to push that further and that's tough because sometimes you can go too far especially in a rom-com you're like we're never going to recover Jeez, yeah man that was that was just you guys are that was too mean that was too angry we'll never get back but we we were able to push that much further in this one and still recover and still have the audience go, of course they got back together. Yeah, Boy, right. It was hard. It was hard for them to overcome those obstacles to get back together. It was really tough for them to do it. Where do you think we are now? Where is Andy and Ben now? Because that's what everyone wants to know. Where are we now? Yeah. I mean, I have a, ver I have ver a version because I get asked this so much. It's like there's the real version that I want for Andy and Ben and then there's the movie version. <laughs> Come on, what you got? I mean, well, the real version. I hope they're still happy and like adventurous and doing what they want to be doing and have kids and made it work, right? But in the movie version, there's and, gotta and be working somewhere on locations, uh, having a little FaceTime chat across the yeah ocean each other and depends on the back porch <laughs> about to put something on the grill and you, you, you go yeah. exactly exactly and then but in the movie version like then what's the conflict and that I, I still I, I I don't I don't know what that is you know um but there's definitely conflict in the movie version um you know but what do you think I haven't thought about it <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm willing to throw those out there because yeah there's got to be some major conflict what would it be um could you meet obviously you could meet again where things are just going rosy and oh my gosh we caught them in the in the uh and the, they're still on their honeymoon <laughs> and then something's got to come in 20 years and, older <laughs> hey, hey look and she's still in the yellow dress <laughs> with the isadora diamond yes um, um is the love fern alive and well everyone wants to know oh yeah 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 of course I still got that. That's still growing. They're still hanging. I agree. By a nice little sunny window. Did you actually ride the motorcycle? Yes, I actually rode the motorcycle. It was a, it was an easy bike to ride. That, the that Triumph. Bonneville, yeah, Triumph. Yeah, Triumph Bonneville. It was oh, an great. easy bike to ride. It was not. There's nothing. It was just classic. Classic. And remember, cool. I learned how to ride the motorcycle. Remember? Yes. I was really proud of myself. Yeah. New, um, New York, I then ended up motorcycle. actually oh. riding motorcycles. What? You did end up riding motorcycles? You do now? Dirt bikes. Oh, okay. Is yeah. that because of a rider? Yeah, rider likes to ride. We are our whole family. You know, everybody rides dirt bikes. I don't do it often, but like we'll go out. They're all in, in, in Colorado. We ride. It's super fun. You still got um, that spot up in um... Colorado? No, north. I don't want to say the place. Malibu? No, 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 no. North, north. 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 Boats up to the North. Dock. No, no. No? Muskoka. I'm happy. No, my, no, we sold it. That was cool. I sold it. Muskoka. Let, that's actually a fun thing to talk about. We had a fun weekend. Yes. Where we went up. We went up. We were shooting in Toronto, and we went up to Muskoka. And we brought our friends and we had like this really fun weekend where we just, you know, swam and rode, you know, uh, wave run. And I think we picked, didn't we pickleball long before pickleball was a thing? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, this yeah. is 20 years ago. Oh, we've we been, I've been, I've been to playing. I, when people see me play pickleball, they're like, what? 
<laughs> like, been do I've she's been doing that for decades. That's right. <laughs> that was fun. Oh my God. That house, that part of the world, Muskoka is so beautiful. It's like just incredibly gorgeous. Okay, one more, let's do one more question. Come on. Um, how did we, oh no, let's do a couple, let's do two more questions. How did we create, how did we create the chemistry that we have? I think that's an interesting question. Do you get, right. I get asked that all the time. Look, I'll say this. Let me throw a little metaphor out there. You know me, I love metaphors. So you... And I've always said like, look, we were kind of two heavyweights going at it. And we both kind of, you know, got a little rock and roll. What I mean by that is we played it. Look, what, what, what tickles me doesn't bruise you. What tickles you doesn't bruise me. We both, what, what tickles me might bruise someone else, but it doesn't bruise, you're like, oh, okay. No, I get that you're, you'll laugh longer. I'll laugh, we'll both laugh longer, where some people go, uncle, uncle, we'll take it another few steps. And still go, no, we, we'll take this a few more steps before we're saying, <laughs> whoa, that's enough. I think that's, that's part of it, that, True. We enjoyed going toe to toe like that and nothing that uh, it was kind of fair game for whatever you wanted to pull out on the other. You knew it wasn't personal. And if it was personal, even better. And <laughs> you just go with it. And well, hopefully the camera's rolling That's when right. we throw it at some one or the other and you go inside our head going, did she just really go there? And you go, yeah, she did. And you, hopefully the camera's rolling while that's happening. And that happened a lot, I think, on Hallows, guys. We just said, look, it's all fair game. Let's keep our sense of humor. We know what movie we're making, but let's go hard at each yeah. other. Yeah, yeah, and and I feel like we're we're we're. I mean, we are sensitive people, but we we don't take we're not we don't take things personally, and we can hand, we're, we are tough skinned. And I think we can. Yeah, again, we can leave. We can <laughs> extend the sense of humor. Take the joke three layers deeper, further, where in other circumstances you might be going. No, 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 no. I, yeah, uncle, uncle, stop then. That's enough. And yeah. we were never afraid to push it, you know, to, to what might be considered too far. Mm -hmm. or, oh, that's too tough. Or, oh, that's too mean. Or, oh, that we pushed and you tried it. And this all just that came to me when you're saying all this. I think maybe it has something to do with our freedom. Like, I feel like we're both very free. And, mm -hmm. like, I feel like we're, we don't like constrict ourselves to an idea of what we're supposed to be doing. You know, like yeah. there's something spontaneous about the way that we were able to work together. You know, when you when you went one direction, I went with you. Right. But then I would be like, I'm gonna throw them off a little bit. Yep. Let's let's see what happens if I do a sharp right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God, he's like, okay, I'm coming yeah. sharp right. <laughs> and it should. I think it's staying on the ride. You and I did. did you and I were yeah. good, very good in this context of just staying on the ride and going. We'll keep it going. It's it's a constant parry. We were constantly jousting, constantly jackknifing the other's plan or path or smooth sailing, and that. But then again, that was the fun of it. And it, and and it, I think that's again why part of the movie works is you you honestly watch you go. This may not work. These two may not get back together. Blood was drawn, but, but yeah. yeah to come back together, we overcame more, maybe, in a story sense. And it translated. We just, people just, you know, it was, I mean, and then, and then honestly, I think Fool's Gold as well. Like, I get, I mean, people just, that movie still lives on. I get, people talk to me about that movie all the time. You know, we, we have, a, we have a thing. We have a thing. We did. That was fun, too. <laughs> that was, that was so a lot fun. of fun. I like that was bigger sets. That was more like action adventure. Jeez, oh man, we were doing a lot of action stuff. I that. mean that, and I a part of me is like, oof, I'd like to go back to that now. Like, the, mm. you know what I mean? Like the the that like adventure, you know, what that, like to me doing something like that now would actually I feel like I would e enjoy it even more. Uh huh. You know. Yeah. I. Uh, Remember, like you remember who you know? Remember who uh, um, was just getting early in their career started? Who absolutely everyone will know when I say the name took off. It was Kevin Big, Bun Big Bunny? Big Kevin Bunny, Hart. Kev. It's so funny because I mean, I with Ke Kevin. Remember, it was supposed to be somebody else, and then last minute something happened. Yeah. And Kevin came in like last minute, you know, and I fell in love with Kevin on that movie. He 
crack we used to go I remember when we were getting uh certified and Kevin and I had to get certified together <laughs> right what a great what a great person to get scuba certified with we were but we were also like terrified to go into this water where we're trying to get in like, there's an angel fish that was like three and a half feet by our feet you of course are like at the bottom of the ocean somewhere just like you know saying hello to all kinds of sea animals <laughs> <laughs> and i was like i don't know what's going on oh my god but kevin was my kevin was my partner in that moment and it was so damn funny he was he's the best that kevin and um ray winston was in that remember yeah ray? yeah yeah that was fun that was six months of our life that was a long one yeah. That was a long one. Yeah. And we and we were on only boats, remember when we would it was like our we would be on the water and then we would be on a catamaran where hair and makeup was. And so yeah. we'd travel from boat to boat. Go a back lot to the boat for lunch, sit on top of the thing, da 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 meet you back on a beach. Yeah. It was not it was ugly. Great. It was great. Well, I love you. I'm glad love we too, had girl. this moment. And um I hope I'm sure everyone loved it. And um and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. When are you coming? When are you, when are you ever in this part of the world? Uh, I'm back. Uh, I know I'm back there in um, less than two weeks. Great. Well, maybe I'll see you soon. Yeah. Well, and let's keep ears let's as we do. Ears this. and eyes open for things out there, you know, Yeah. to go let's, play again together. Let's that's what, do it. That's, what, that's, yeah. that's, that's the way to say it. That's what we do is we go play. We don't we go, go, work, play. We go play. We need to do that. We, ha we actually really should do that at some point. Love to. I love you. Say hi to the fam. All right. Bye, dear. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.